Hi guys, this is Shivaradi. Welcome to the Java interview question and answers on exception handling. Exception handling is the one of the um, strongest feature of the Java which is going to support. So in this session, I am going to explain most frequently asked um, interview questions on exception handling during the core Java interviews. So the first question is going to be the what is exception and what is an error. So exception is an event which is going to stop the normal execution of the program is known as a exception. And error is an irrecoverable situation. So the example for the exception is, for example, um, you are dividing a one number by the zero, then it is going to throw the num uh, n automatic exception. You are trying to do some operation on the null, then it is going to throw the null point exception. So these are the exceptions are mainly due to the programmer uh, do some mistakes in the while uh, developing the application, which is going to cause the exception. And what is meant by error? Error is, a, error is an irrecoverable situation. That means whenever you are executing some program all of a sudden the hardware got fail or jvm got crashed so these are the so couple of examples for the errors so whenever an error occurs you can't recover the uh, situation but in the case of exception if you handle the exception then you can continue with the execution of your program so that is the basic difference between the exception and the error in the case of java it is basically uh, we are classify the exceptions into two types one is Checked exceptions and unchecked exceptions. So the next question is going to be what is checked and unchecked exceptions in Java. So the checked exception is an exception which is going to be uh, checked at the compile time. That means the compiler will enforce you to handle these checked exceptions. What is meant by unchecked? So unchecked exceptions are the exceptions which are going to occur at the runtime is known as an unchecked exception. In Java, if we are talking about a technical way in Java, the class which is going to extend ex, uh, extends except throwable and error which is considered as a checked exception and what is the unchecked exceptions unchecked exceptions are the uh, exceptions which are going to be extend the runtime uh, runtime exception class which is considered as a unchecked exceptions now the next question is what is the exception handling and the hierarchy of the exception handling in java so exception handling is a mechanism which is going to uh, which is going to uh, handle the exception so that the normal execution of the program will continue that means by using the exception handling you can prevent you can stop the exceptions or you can catch the exception so that the normal execution of the program continues so that is the main purpose of the exception handling the second purpose is whenever any exception handling during the uh, execution of the program you can send some messages to the end user saying that there is a something happening in the background because of that this um, particular uh, particular uh, particular uh, program got terminated for example whenever you are putting withdrawing a some amount in the uh, from from the atm then you are withdrawing a more than some uh, more than specified limit then you will get a message saying like the maximum withdrawal for the particular day or the account uh, for the account is already exceeded so those type of user friendly messages you can uh, you can uh, send using this type of exception handling so in the case of hierarchy of the exception in java the super class for all the classes is a object and then the throwable is going to be the super class for the all the exceptions are the errors which is going to be happen so throwable is basically classified uh, two ways it can defining the subclasses is uh, the subclass of the throwable is exception and error in java we are not going to handle the error so the only concept where we are going to focus on the exception so whatever the classes we are going to um, extend the exception classes are considered as a checked exceptions but not it should not extend the runtime so the classes which are going to extend the runtime class is considered as a unchecked exceptions so this is the basic hierarchy of the exception handling then what what is the exception mechanism or exception handling mechanism uh, we do follow in the java so java is going to pro provide a five keywords in order to handle the exception the first one is the try so try block is mainly focus on you need to put the list of statements which might cause the uh, exception then we need to put those statement in the try block and then catch whenever any exception happens then jvm automatically throw the uh, exception to the catch block so catch block basically catch the whatever the exception it is thrown in the try block and throw throw is basically used to throw an exception either it might be a deep but what happens is 
whenever you create a custom exception you want to throw that exception to the particular catchback then you are going to use the throw and in the case of uh, um, default in the case of predefined exceptions whatever it is going to have like a uh, like um, file not found or sql exceptions all these things by default jvm will be using the throw keyword to throw the exception but in the case of you custom custom exceptions you have to manually throw that exception using the throw keyword and what is the main purpose of throws throws is basically used to declare an exception that means for example you have write a one method where you where that method is going to throw the exception then there are two ways whether you can handle the exception using the type catch block or you can throw that exception so that what happens is the the caller who is calling that method they will be taking care of actually handling the exception and also it gives the information about the caller saying like there is a possibility of the exception happening wherever they are uh, trying to invoke that particular method and what is finally so finally is like a clean up resources basically this uh, whatever the statement you are going to put in the finally those are always going to be executed that means whether an exception occurred or not still uh, the finally block is going to be executed so what are the permutation and combinations when you are working with the um, uh, exception handling is you can write a try block the option is either you should have the catch or finally one is mandatory but if you are write a catch block then try is going to be mandatory so this is the permutation combinations where you can use try catch and finally so then in some scenarios it is possible that there is a more than one catch block you can define for the single try block so the next question the interview might be asking you about the um, what, what is the mandatory condition if you want to put more than one try uh, for the try block more than one catch block the basic thumb rule is that whenever you are handling the try with the multiple catch block uh, multiple catch blocks then the first one you need to be like a more specific for example you are handling like a uh, io streams then first it should be like a file not found and then next cache should be the io exception then third one is going to be the exception that means you need to handle the subclass exception first then super class then on top of the super class that is the uh, order uh, order of the sequence you need to put in the cache blocks so in the case of io exception so what happens is first in the try block the first cache should be file not found and then second one should be io not uh, io exception and the, the next uh, cache should be like a exception but if you are trying to handle the first exception uh, class itself then the compiler time will uh, give you an error saying like already this uh, the the next catch blocks it will not be reachable okay so that is the mandatory condition you need to follow when you are putting a uh, single try with the multiple catch blocks then what is the main use of uh, uses of the finally block finally is basically used to clean up of the resources for example whenever you are working with the io streams or jdbc connection then you always need to make sure that those connections should be closed that means io needs to be operation should be closed in the finally block at the same time connection result set or the statement you are trying to prepare to interact with the database then those needs to be always placed in the uh, finally so that the finally block is going to always going to execute and those will be taking care of clean up of this connection or the io stream uh, uh, streams okay and also is it possible finally block does not execute in some scenarios so there in before actually J java 1.5 before java 1.5 it is possible that you can put like a system dot exit of zero when you call that um, when you call this method uh, that is statement particular system dot exit of zero then at that particular scenario it will not execute and another another one is whenever any type of errors it happens like a fatal error or some system has crashed or uh, due to hardware failure something happened then those scenarios it will not possible but except this scenario every time whenever you put uh, finally block it is going to always execute whether it respect of it exception occurs or not then the next question is going to be how to create a custom exceptions and again custom exceptions means there are two things how to create a checked exceptions and how to create a unchecked exceptions so in order to create a custom exception that means custom checked exception the first thumb rule is we need to extend the class exception 
so this is the code snippet which is going to tells you how to create a custom checked exception so you need to extend the a class that is exception and you create an object for it uh, you can extend the class my custom ex uh, checked exception which is going to extend the exception so now this is considered as a checked exception that means yeah, whenever you are handling this exception the compiler will enforce you to handle at the compile time itself that is called as an checked exception if you want to create a unchecked exception you need to extend the class that is the runtime exception so this is considered as a custom unchecked exception so the sec second code snippet is going to tells you how to create a custom unchecked exception so by default whenever you are extending the exception class then you are creating an checked exception but if you explicitly you are extending the runtime class then you are creating a unchecked exceptions then when to use the throw and the throws basically throw is used to throw an exception that means if you want to uh, create you create a custom exception then using the throw keyword you have to throw to the corresponding catch block and in the case of throws it is used to declare an exception that means you are not handling the current method where you are trying to throw that exception uh, throws uh, you are putting the declaration in the method level but you are saying the compiler that whoever is calling this method they will be taking care of it so throw is throw is used to throw an exception throws is used to declare an exception and in the case of throw only one class you are going to throw it but in the case of throws you can declare more than one exception in the method declaration that is the basic difference between the throw and throws and then uh, and then what so the next question is what happens if programmer does not handle the exception or if you don't handle exception what exactly happen what what is the steps taken care by the jvm so the first step is whenever programmer does not handle the exception what happens is first whenever uh, it is trying to execute the few uh, statement where exception happen then jvm will throw this exception to the default handler of the jvm then jvm will try to identify what type what type of the exception object it is then it is going to print the details of the exception and then it is going to give you a complete um, print uh, trace of that particular exception so that is the reason if you don't handle the exception if you see the console of the when you execute some program you can see in the console about the what type of the exception it is for example it is a automatic exception or the runtime exception or or it is a null pointer exception array bound array index out of bound exception so those details you will see and also at from what point of uh, um, uh, during the program at what line it has occur, uh, what has occurred and how it has actually given uh, how it has handled till to the jvm uh, default handler that is a uh, print uh, stack trace you are going to see in the console okay so that is how the default jvm handling will be happens so if you handle the exception then it will be follows as for your um, handling if you don't follow then jvm by default it is going to provide the default exception handling mechanism by terminating the program it is going to give you some details about the exception and what is how you are going to handle the exception during the inheritance or whenever or during the during the overriding so basically overriding means superclass and subclass will have the same method name with the same sin, uh, signature then subclass method is going to override the superclass method is known as a overriding so in the case of inheritance uh, in the case of um, inheritance relationship first case is if superclass does not declare any exception so in the case of superclass does not have any de uh, any declared uh, any exception then what happens is in the subclass method declaration you ca you cannot you cannot declare the checked exceptions but you can declare an unchecked exception what happens if the superclass declare an exception so if superclass declare an exception then subclass can declare the exception of the same class of the exception or the subclass effort or no exception that means when superclass declare an exception for example it has declared an exception of the io exception so now subclass subclass method what it can declare is either it is a io or either it is a file not found this two it can it can declare but it cannot declare like a um, exception uh, class itself 
So that is the basic uh, way you um, we need to handle in the case of overriding. And also there is a, some common exception uh, common exceptions uh, occurred because of the programming mistakes are first one is like a uh, null point exception where user has taken like a string out while you're doing the string operations string might be null but you are trying to access like a on top of that you are trying to access some uh, methods like a two string method or the trim method or two upper class that that time it will throw the null point exception and another one is array index bound uh, array index out of bound exception for example you have declared a array size of 5 but you are trying to access an element of the size 6 index of 6 then it is going to throw the array index out of bound exception and then you are trying to uh, divide some number by 0 then it is going to throw the uh, arithmetic exception and also uh, these are the frequent uh, exceptions you are going to see uh, while you are uh, the uh, because of the programmer uh, mistakes so this is all about the exception handling hope you are clear with the uh, frequently asked uh, interview questions on exception handling and if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video thanks for watching please do subscribe to uh, my youtube channel to get more technical videos